This lesson, we are going to talk about making arcs using the arc command. The arc command creates two-dimensional arcs on the xy plane. It takes three parameters. The first, adjusting the inner radius of the arc. The second, adjusting the outer radius. And the third, representing the number of degrees that the arc should cover. Note that the outer radius, the second parameter, should always be larger than the inner radius, the first parameter. Another thing to note is that the angle measure is positive measured from the x-axis and counterclockwise. Let's make some example arcs. We'll start making an arc named my arc. It will have an inner radius of 2, outer radius of 3, and then it will cover 90 degrees. Let's then color my arc a nice purple color and let's display it using the show command and then let's run our program. Here it is. I'll turn the grid on so we can get a better view. You can see that the inner radius is 2. The outer radius is 3. It gives that a thickness of 1. You can also see that the arc is extended from the x-axis 90 degrees over to the positive y-axis. We can change the thickness of our arc by adjusting the radii, as well as change how large of an area our arc covers by changing the degree measure. Let's do both with our next example. Let's change my arc to be a little bit thinner with a smaller radius, and then let's make it cover twice the degree measure. I'll make some changes to the code and then explain to you how they work. I'm going to change the inner radius here to 1.5, the outer radius to 2, and then make it cover 180 degrees. Here is our new arc. As you can see, the new inner radius is 1.5, and the outer radius is 2. The arc is thinner than the last one with a width of 0.5, and it has a smaller outer radius. The degree measure is now 180 instead of 90 so it now extends from the x-axis on the right side here all the way over to the x-axis on the left instead of just that 90 degrees to the y-axis. One last neat thing that we can do with arcs is that we can extrude them to three dimensions and move or rotate them to use them in 3D models. Let's extrude my arc to a depth of 0.2 using the prism command and then assign it to a new object named my arc 3D. Then let's change the show command to display my arc 3D instead of my arc. Run our program and we can see our three dimensional arc. Looks like I misspelled it. And here is our three dimensional arc. To summarize this lesson on making arcs using the arc command, remember a few things. Firstly, remember that it takes three parameters. One representing the inner radius of the arc, the second representing the outer radius, and the third representing the amount of degrees for the arc to cover. Remember that you can change the size and width using the radii parameters, and also remember that the degree measurement for the arc begins on the positive x-axis and goes counterclockwise. Play around with arcs to see what you can make.